Good morning guys, today I wanted to do another day in the life vlog. It's just one of those grey, really autumnal rainy days and contrary to popular belief, us vloggers do not spend these kind of days in our pyjamas doing nothing. I'm really determined that despite the horrible weather I'm going to have a really really productive day today. So kicking it off with um, a session at the gym got my gym kit on and I thought I would vlog as well because I'm actually going to go shopping later and hit up Oxford Street. I haven't been real shopping in quite some time. I've done quite a lot of online shopping. You guys probably saw all my hauls on my channel last week um, but I just wanted to see what's in the shops because it's that very strange time of year when no one really knows what to buy we have days like this and then we have really hot sunny days like yesterday was boiling um so it's a bit of a strange time so i thought i would take you shopping with me a little bit later but before that i've got tons of life admin to do i have quite a lot of blog posts i want to write up i've got quite a lot of videos to edit so i thought i'd do a daily vlog it's gonna be quite a quite a varied day but first of all i'm going to show you what i take in my gym bag because um <laughs> our shower is actually not working at home or it does but we don't have any hot water uh so i'm going to be having a very pampering session at the gym so so i've got all my pampering bits and bobs in this little bag this is a really handy bag because it's kind of waterproof it's from a brand called l-o-q-l I think I ordered it off Amazon or something, but it's great because it dries really quickly. So even if I take it in the shower, it stays dry or it dries really quickly. I am taking my current favorite shampoo and conditioner mix. I say conditioner. I do have the conditioner from this range. It's the Catwalk by TG range. And in particular, they're oatmeal and honey. I hope I'm going to say this word right. Avon and miel. It's a range specifically designed for dry hair that really needs a bit of repairing. So as you go into autumn, everything I find just needs a little bit more love and care. So it's a really good range to use for that. I'm actually working with TG um, on a couple of things over the next few months. So you'll be seeing me talking about them a lot more. And I'm very happy to be working with them because for me, TG is a brand that, um, okay, so when I was about 16, 17, when I first started getting my hair colored and I didn't really go about it the right way, but my hair was just always so so knotted in such bad condition like honestly it was at breaking point it was pretty much falling out it was so bad and I could not get a brush through it every time I washed my hair it was a traumatic experience in fact the only shampoo and conditioner range I could use was by TG and it was their Urban Anecdotes level 3 which was the red one not only did it smell amazing, but it was the only conditioner that I could use that actually enabled me to brush through my hair. So I've always been very thankful to TG for that. So very happy to be working with them. Um, but this is the range I'm using at the moment. Really like the packaging, it's very cool. And it's appropriate for colored hair, which is very important because obviously this is not my natural color. So I'll be taking the deep mask and I'll just leave this on my hair while I exfoliate, while I cleanse etc etc and then I've also got the shampoo from the same range which of course I'll use before that also really like this range especially for taking to the gym because it means I don't have to take all my aftercare products with me so this has heat protectant within it so um, it means I don't have to spray my hair with another product which means I have less to take in my gym bag so I will blow dry and maybe straighten my hair at the gym as well as well as my shampoo and conditioner I'm taking my lash and lid foaming cleanser from Nouveau Lashes because I had their extend done the other day I think that's what it's called and um, when they put individual lashes glued onto your eyelashes so really good for my upcoming holidays it means I don't have to wear mascara but you can't use your normal cleanser because anything with oil in could break the bonds between the lashes and your lashes so this is their specific daily um, firming cleanser for your lashes what else have we got in here oh so I've got my St. Ives nourish and smooth oatmeal scrub and mask oh I don't think I realized it was a mask as well in that case, what I'll probably do... Oh yeah, you can leave it on for five to seven minutes. Okay, I'll be doing that, have a proper pamper. Maybe I can do that while my intense nourishing mask does its job. What else, what else do I have in here? This is one of my favourite cleansing balms. It is the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. This whole range I absolutely love. If you saw in my last vlog, I, I used the secret to get a new Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream and it worked. So, big, big fan of that whole range got my razor for obvious reasons um yeah oh and this is my body scrub sienna x super fine so that i can fake tan afterwards so as well as my toiletry bag i've got 
wet brush which I find is just the best kind of brush especially when your hair is wet because um, I don't know if you guys know this but when your hair is wet it's at its most fragile so you have to be super super careful with what you do with your hair no rough toweling etc so using a wet brush is just a really gentle way of brushing it so you don't get any breakage or as much breakage and also in there I have my Beats by Dr. Dre earphones they are the big over ear ones but I still find them really good for in the gym because it means you can kind of like leave your phone somewhere and then walk around do different weights etc without worrying about any wires and last but not least in my gym bag I have got a cozy change of clothes this is a Jules jumper they very kindly sent it to me last year and I wear it so 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 much I'm just gonna wear this and comfy jeans for the rest of the day after the workout just so that I can be super super productive so that noise I think means that Charlie is out of the shower which means it's time to go <laughs> from the gym and that was a really really good session we did legs and they are already burning so I'm definitely gonna be feeling that tomorrow I feel nice and pampered had a lovely shower actually it's so nice to have a hot shower um, and yeah exfoliated deep cleansed my hair with the catwalk by TG mask and my hair actually if you have got bleached hair you'll know how much of a big deal it is if you can actually brush it without having to put detangling conditioner in and I managed to brush through it no problem so very happy with that it smells amazing the oatmeal and honey I think it must be the honey just smells incredible um, so yeah it's a little bit rough at the moment because I just rough dried it at the gym but I'm going to add even more shine and smoothness by blow drying it properly now it is actually now sunny outside I don't know if you can see by the brightness out there um, but I'm gonna film a few videos today so I want my hair to be looking extra lovely and I'll show you a few of the styling products that I like to use to like keep it looking good all day and then I'll probably give it another little top up later on in the day before Charlie and I go out for dinner. Okay, so I've just put you guys up on a tripod so that I can actually show you what's going on. Um, but because I'm gonna be filming all day and I want my hair to be better than usual, I'm going to be using a root lift spray. This is the Catwalk by TG Root Lift Spray. Um, it's called the Root Boost Spray for lift and texture. So I'm gonna be sectioning off my hair, um, applying it to the roots, and then any volume that I create with my blow dryer, this will help to just keep it in place, really maximize the, maximize the volume um, and just give me a better hair day. So starting off just by gently brushing it through. And now that it's sectioned, I can spray this. Um, so my hair's probably like 80% dry at the moment and this is kind of wet so you have to blow dry it in. Spraying this to the root area. So you can see that's made my hair a little bit more damp. Um, it shouldn't be wet, if it is you've probably put a little bit too much on, but it's more damp and already you can see that any volume that I create just kind of stays there. So my kit now is barrel brush, blow dryer, Basically just gonna give myself a normal blow dry, a little bit more focus on um, creating extra volume.
Okay, so as you can see, that has given my hair a major, major boost of volume on the roots. Um, I've got a lot of hair, it's fine, but because there's so much of it, it's pretty heavy. So what I sometimes find is that if I style my hair, I spend ages styling it, and then an hour later I look in the mirror and it's gone flat. But by using um, a root boost like this one, I just find that it helps my style stay voluminous for longer, which if I'm gonna be filming videos all day and then, um, going out shopping, going out for dinner, I definitely want to keep my style as long as possible. I'm going to put some curls in this in a few minutes, but uh, Charlie's shouting me because breakfast is ready, so let's go and have some avocado on toast. Okay, back upstairs now after a lovely breakfast, and um, I finally put some makeup on, ready to start filming. I'm going to use something I've not used in a long time, it's my curling wand. Um, perhaps if I turn it on because I want to try and get just slightly bigger, higher up waves today. So let's see how we do it. I have to say I'm so impressed with how soft my hair feels. For bleached hair, this never happens. Uh, Dickie, what are you doing? Oh. Just turned around and Dickens was weeing on the new carpet. So, sorry about that little interval. But on the plus side, that curl looks rather good. Yay! So I'm just wrapping it around the barrel, holding it for like six or seven seconds. And then when I let it drop, I just hold it as a curl for a few seconds. And then this is when the hair cools down, so it should help the curl last a bit longer. All right, so obviously my curls are a little bit too tight at the moment, but I'm just gonna leave them like this for about five minutes. I'm gonna get changed, finish my makeup, etc. Just leave them to cool down, and then I will brush them through just before we start filming. <laughs> Okay, all changed and nearly ready to start filming. I just have to quickly tell you about my latest lip obsession. I'm not normally a huge fan of anything glossy or sticky, uh, but this is the Too Faced Melted Latex Liquefied High Shine Lipstick, and I am absolutely in love with it. I've got the shade, um, Hopeless Romantic, and I just think the color is beautiful, and it's such a like strong color for a gloss, so yeah. Big fan of that. Final step with my hair. So as I mentioned, the curls have now cooled down. I'm gonna brush through them, which is gonna give them a much softer effect. And I'm going to finish off with the Catwalk by TG Work It Hairspray. So what I really like about this one is that it gives a really flexible hold so you don't have any stiff curls. It just doesn't really look like you've got hairspray in it at all, but it does make your style last a lot longer. And um, this is actually also the one that I use when I do a more sleek hairstyle. So more often than not, I go out with my hair in a ponytail, especially for a day of meetings. And just to prevent those flyaway hairs or any frizz, I just mist my hair really finely all over with this and then just comb away any frizziness. So that's a really good one for that because it's so lightweight um, but it does give a really good hold. So first of all, let's brush through the curls. Just gently. Okay, so just as I was about to do the big hair reveal, my memory card was full, so I've just had to change my memory card. Um, but yeah, as you can see, really big curls, almost like a Hollywood curl style. And these will drop a tiny bit throughout the day, but I'm gonna do what I can to keep them in place as long as possible. So as I said, just a fine mist of hairspray, not too close, you just want this to be really kind of airy. You can feel it a little bit in the hair, but the hair texture doesn't really change too much. This one also smells like perfume as well, I absolutely love it. So pleased with how this has turned out. Perfect for an afternoon of filming. I always feel so much better when I'm having a good hair day when I'm filming. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna film a video or two, maybe even three. Leave a comment down below if you have already figured out which video I filmed on this day, because the video that I'm about to film will already be live, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, leave me a comment if you figured it out. But I am going to go and film, and I'll catch up with you guys in a couple of hours time. See you later.
Okay, it's a few hours later now. It's actually half past four now um, and I was so optimistic as to how much I could get done today. I think the last time I spoke to you, it was like midday and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna film two or three videos and then I'm gonna go and get my vlogger mail and then I'm gonna go into town and go shopping and then go to an event and then go to dinner. Uh, no, that's not gonna happen. So dinner tonight, Charlie's booked us because basically it's National Burger Day in a couple of days and Charlie wants to do a blog post about the best burgers in town so we are going to the Big Easy restaurant on Kings Road tonight to try their burgers slash pig out um, and he's booked the table for seven so I do still really want to go shopping today. I'm going to go to Kings Road. I'm going to get the bus in about half an hour's time. As you just saw, I had a tidy up after filming two videos. I got two videos done today, which means I'm going to have to do four tomorrow. Um, and we have got the builder guy coming around tomorrow, so that should be fun. But yes, never mind. I can just have a super productive day tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I tidied up after two of the hauls and then I undid a bit of blogger mail. We just got back from Doddle. Um, so I thought I'd show you some of the highlights. The first thing um, was the most beautifully scented blogger mail I think I've ever been sent. And it was from Miss Dior. First of all, they've sent some cookies in here. I will just open it up and show you. Um, they sent three little cookies, which are very symbolic of the fragrance. And I'm so excited to eat them with my cup of tea because all I've had today is avocado on toast, which is just not feeling enough after a gym session. So I'm gonna devour that. And then Estee Lauder, oh, <laughs> the main thing that Dior sent was a new perfume, not forgetting that. This is Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. And if it smells anything like what the blog mail smelt like, then, it's just incredible. I actually spritzed myself with it a few moments ago and then went downstairs and Charlie said he thought it was lovely. So that's a good sign. And actually it is really, really beautiful. It's not only beautiful to look at, but it's very feminine fragrance. I think this is a new look for Miss Dior. So very excited to keep on wearing that and see if I get any more perfume related compliments. Then I got some new launches, very kindly posted to me from Estee Lauder. This one I'm very excited about, it's their new double wear cushion BB cream and it's SPF 50, which is amazing. Um, we don't want to be forgetting about our SPF just because it's kind of the end of summer. Um, love this packaging, a little gold lid, pop it open, yeah, easier said than done. Um, and then you've got this mirrored compact with a sponge and underneath here, which I'm Yep, there we go. Sponge gone a well. Underneath you've got the product, which is the cushion foundation, which I love. I love having cushion foundations in my handbag. Um, I really like the Maybelline one and the L'Oreal one, but there's just something extra luxurious about getting something like this out of your handbag. And they also sent me a new mascara, a new glittery eye stick. So very generous from Estee Lauder. <laughs> and then I got a really random blogger mail which contained a astronaut or an astronaut ice cream sandwich which i'm gonna give to my nephew who's four and a bit um although it's probably like got age limitations on it i'll make sure that i oversee him eating it i don't know but yeah i'm gonna give this to him at the weekend because i think he will get a lot more entertainment out of that than i will but very cool little gift with a blogger mail so yeah i'm gonna carry on tidying up now I'm going to start putting some things aside for our trip because we're going to Siena uh, next week. So we're gonna pop some bits aside for that and then just get ready to head out and go shopping on Kings Road. Okie dokie, so we are just getting ready to go out. Um, quick shop on Kings Road and then head out for dinner. So I thought I'd show you briefly how I'm gonna update my hair for tonight. So luckily, I still have lots of volume in there. So I think I'm gonna do a bouffant kind of ponytail and then make it really sleek with the hairspray. So as you can see, we've got a lot of volume going on. Um, but personally, I can't eat with my hair down. I just find it really claustrophobic. So what I'm gonna do is um, tie it up in a high ponytail, add a bit of volume at the roots and then just make it look super sleek. Okay, so step one is creating a high ponytail just in the normal way. Normally when I do a ponytail, I would use an invisible, but because I want this one to really stay in place, I'm just gonna use a normal blonde colored hair bubble. So I'm doing it fairly high. So far so normal. And what I'm gonna do is just bring a bit of that volume back in just by kind of pushing it at the base here. So I'm just pulling at different areas just to create a bit more volume 
at the roots. And now I want to get rid of the hair bubble. So what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of hair from underneath the ponytail, quite a long bit. If your hair's layered, just play around until you get a bit that's quite long. So I've got this bit here, and I've got a Kirby grip, and I'm going to wrap this bit of hair around the hair bubble and then secure with my grip. Okay, so now you cannot see my hair bubble, which is exactly what I wanted. I've just pulled a few strands down from my ears. I don't want this to be too sharp. And then, so that the uh, bit wrapped around my hair bubble doesn't come loose, I'm just gonna give it one more spritz with the hairspray. And then I'm just gonna finish by misting the hairspray all over and then I'll just keep it in place for the rest of the evening. And that is my DIY voluminous ponytail. So without further ado, we'll let's go shopping. All right, we have made it to King's Road. Got my very antisocial shopping partner with me. What's up? <laughs> oh, you took your eyes off your phone, it's a miracle. So we're heading to Club Monaco first. The staff here think I'm absolutely bonkers because every time I come here, I'm always like vlogging or filming. Or if you watched my um, Chelsea and Bloom lookbook, you might recognize that most of that was actually shot outside Club Monaco and I was like going in and out of school to film that. So they think I'm mad. So I'm gonna try and be fairly subtle. Um, but at the same time, I wanna show you all the lovely autumn new things. So let's go. So Chaz and I both had great success in the Club Monaco, although I managed to restrain myself and only get one piece. Did you only get one piece? Yeah, yeah. but quite restrained. There's some really nice knitwear pieces, but the challenge is they're all hand wash, which does put me off a little bit sometimes. Yeah, Charlie's getting all um, knickers in a twist because everything's hand wash only, but... It is a hassle, isn't it? Oh, washing machine does have a hand wash setting, you know? Yeah, but it's more remembering when we're traveling a lot, we're traveling a lot as well, like it's big, like, you know what it is. I do. Stressful. And then we both just went into All Saints, but I feel like their prices have just gone a little bit ridiculous. Well, um, and again, everything's hand washed only in there, isn't to it? To give you an idea, a suede bomber in there, that A, doesn't feel anywhere near as good quality, and B, the design isn't as good. As what? Is, is the exact same price as the Reese one I bought, so 350 which is a lot, but the Reese one feels a lot more sleeker. And yeah. All Saints is from China. I, mean, I don't know, I haven't checked the recent one, but... <laughs> Probably China as well. Probably China. Put together in Italy. Feel nicer. Yeah. yeah. Where to next then? Food, no? Food? Well, let's see if we... Uh, almost food. Let's see if we spot anything on the way there. And uh, check out my premium haul, which will have gone live last week, to see what I picked up in Flamenco.
funny story about one of my friends that recently came shopping on Kings Road. You see that guy behind me, um, and you probably know the ones I mean. If you've ever been shopping in London, they have one of these stores on Kings Road, and one of them I think on South Moulton Street. They're basically um, where the guy stands outside and he offers you a sachet, and if you take it, then obviously you're lured into the store where they try and sell you products. Well, with silly names. <laughs> with silly names. So my friend Rory that recently came over from Hong Kong, he is interested in retail and retail experience. So he was like, you know what, I'm just gonna, just gonna roll with this and see what they do. So he went into the store and uh, the lady gave him a lovely hand massage, told him about the meteorites that were in the product and how fabulous it was, it warmed up on the skin. And Rory said, okay, cool, how much is it? And she was like, no, 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 I'll tell you in a few minutes. And she carried on giving him the, uh, the sales pitch, the full on experience. Um, at this point, Rory's thinking, yeah, it's actually quite a nice product but I wonder how much it is. Finally, she told him, take a guess, 988 pounds. And how quickly would you get through that? Like oh, a month? That's a month, basically month rent. Or two. Yeah, rent or moisturizer. 988 pounds. Rory obviously said no, so then she very kindly offered him the uh, small version of the moisturizer, a bargain at 200 pounds. Ridiculous. So don't fall for it. <laughs> This is the kind of thing you can get me for Christmas, darling. So we've made our way down King's Road. Didn't buy anything else other than our Club Monaco pieces, but it was nice to do a bit of window shopping. And now we are heading to the Big Easy, which I have not been to in about five years, for burgers, steaks, and lots of yumminess. back home again about to go to bed now after a little bit of a drama following our delicious meal uh charlie and i were both in a bit of a food coma when we left the big easy and we managed to leave our club monaco shopping under the table so then we got all the way home and then went all the way back and came all the way home again but thankfully we have our shopping i was having a bit of a nightmare because Obviously Club Monaco is not the cheapest of places. Well, I'd be upset if I left any shopping, but especially this. So I'm excited to show you what I picked up. I will be filming that haul tomorrow. So you guys can skip back and watch my premium and high-end haul and you can see what I picked up. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, so that's all for today's vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and leave me a comment down below if you would like to see more vlogs from me because I know I'm doing so much fashion content and um, yeah be good to know whether you still enjoy vlogs so thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a emoji that is somehow related to hair in the description box if you made it this far and that means you're the best so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye